Press kwa majina mimi naitwa David Kuria I work with Imlu Imlu is a independent uh, organization uh, independent medical legal unit uh, today we were performing a postmortem examination for the three victims of the finance bill protest who were shot dead on 25th so the three we started with Michael I'm just giving a brief because uh, I'm not uh, the person uh, to give the, the real uh, outcome but as an I was uh, an observer I was inside when the postmortem was done so Michael Michael had uh, three gunshots uh, on the stomach and here in the abdomen and I think uh, one came out and uh, the, the third one was, was the other one was made a fresh it fresh eh? on the on the lips but one went inside and uh, damaged some uh, uh, internal body organs so so the cause of, of, of death for him was uh, excessive uh, bleeding and uh, the damage of the internal body organs. Uh, the, the, the next one was uh, Austin, Austin uh, Onyiso, uh, had one bullet on the uh, right side of the leg. Uh, it entered from uh, above the knee and uh, came out in the other side of the leg. And I think uh, he had a, a, a excessive, bra uh, excessive uh, uh, bleeding. Uh, to the, cause of the, uh, the cause of death was uh, due to lose of uh, a lot of blood which came out. Uh, I think there was a delayment before he was brought here to the hospital. So we have Kevin Madaga, who had one gunshot on the head entered through the, uh, the, the lower side of the jaw and came out at the forehead and it, it scattered uh, the, the, the skull and I think uh, he also had a lot of uh, blood bleeding in the brain so that's how it has happened so Dr. Gurugu has said that uh, he's going to compile uh, comprehensive report so maybe we'll follow him uh, later but uh, Dr. Gekenyi uh, there were two doctors we had uh, Titus Grungu and uh, Dr. Gekenyi who I think uh, we have requested him to come back and maybe give you a brief so he's coming so uh, we hope they will do so uh, although we are doubting because you see the head of the state uh, uh, was saying that uh, those were thugs and uh, you saw he was praising even the, 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 the police action which we say it is very wrong because when he took over the government he promised us that uh, he was going to, uh, to protect Kenyans uh, from extrajudicial killings and enforced disappearance. And uh, I think since he came in, we have more cases here in Akuru. I normally document and uh, monitor and document uh, extrajudicial killings here in Akuru. And I know that we have so many cases. So I think uh, uh, he, he should advise his uh, police officers instead of uh, praising them when they, they do the, the ex the using excessive force. You remember also the, the demonstration concerning the, uh, which was done concerning the cost of living. We also had so many people who were shot uh, in Nakuru, and some also died, and uh, still no action has been taken. So we hope this time maybe the, uh, something to, to will be done, and we are watching. We are, we are waiting to see justice. The fact. So I got the Magari Gikeny, I'm a person the general surgeon. Uh, we came today here at the MOC so that we can witness the, <coughs> the autopsy for the victims of the, the Finance Act 2024, the protest which took place 
uh, some things, they, some days ago. So last week. So essentially, we the the um, the autopsy was done for the three victims uh, by the, the pathologist, Doctor Ngulungu, uh, in our presence. Essentially, which which um, the general feeling was that the patient, the the deceased, died out of what you call hemophoremic shock. Essentially, they were shot, what you call um, uh, a sharp object, and then they bled to death. So I think, which in, in my view, uh, the, the police should not use a lot of force when quelling uh, violence. They, if there was need, then they need to just immobilize them instead of killing them. Because they are our youth, which we need to protect as, as, a, as a country moving forward. And uh, as you know, the constitution protects life by Article 26. So all the stakeholders, including the police, the national government, the county, and everybody should always try as much as possible to prevent what I can call unnecessary deaths. So that by virtue, picketing is part of the uh, Article 37 of the constitution. So it's sorry. So, so sorry for the disturbance. So, so what I'm trying to say that um, the the autopsy session revealed what most people knew that the three young uh, people were killed by bullets, uh, which caused a lot of bleeding. In medicine, we call it hemophoremic shock when you use a lot of blood and then you bleed to death. So I think we need to do much so that we can protect lives. And maybe any question if you have.